Good morning everyone. Today I'm at a very famous Norwegian birding spot. The whole place is called Mølen and coming from Denmark you will recognize this place because it has a lot of stone hills uh, that is uh, made or dated all the way back to 230 AD. So this is an ancient place and those hills or moles or mole because of the name Merlin, they are dated to 230 AD. So this is a old, old place and been used for more than 2000 years. In the beginning it was uh, used for burial place and there is about 230 big and small moles. The big one there are about 16. But here, here you can find lots of birds and Today I'm dressed for birding. I have my binocular, I have my camouflage jacket and a camouflage jacket you certainly need because this place is very very windy but here you will find maybe 100 plus different species maybe 100, 150. So if you haven't been birding in Norway start with Merlin. You will be rewarded because here there will be a lot of songbirds. There will be uh, lots of birds uh, along the shore and along the shore that is where i'm gonna uh, go next um, we're gonna it's quite windy so i will need to uh, hide myself in to some bushes where there uh, the wind is not too strong i hope that you can hear me because it's such a windy place so when you come here bring on some weather uh, proof clothes it might rain here and it's definitely windy and this place is um, located at 59 degrees 59 degrees north I think and something I, I will put the coordinates up for you to see but here you can come and do birding all all year round the best times is of course a uh, start of the birding season uh, when uh, the migratory birds come gliding into Norway and right now the birds that is uh, coming here they will leave Norway and most likely go to uh, Africa uh, warmer climate and maybe down to Morocco um, north of Spain maybe even Greece and longer to observe and film uh, some of the birds down in the seashore and to get it with my father it's a really really nice place to come and do bird photography or just observe birds like we do today so this is a place that I advise everyone if you can then uh, come to Merlin and you will certainly enjoy it like me and Papa do today. Agree? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. So both of us have a great time. And this this is the camera that I'm using today. Uh, I'm using the Black Magic. Here is the storage disc that I'm filming to. And this this is my 500 millimeter lens and uh, with this one i will get some uh, great footage i think and uh, in the between here i do have a, a adapter so that uh, nikon lens can fit my black bag. now we will move to a different location we will go all the way out to the tip of Merlin, there the wind will be much stronger but maybe we will see a, a few different birds and the good thing about Merlin is that it's such a big area that you can uh, be on the 
inside uh, and look for birds that are into this lowland grass, uh, these bushes. Or you can uh, go and look at the waterfowl that we are going to look for now at the tip here. But most likely the wind will be much, much stronger there. So maybe I'm not able to film because it might be a little bit shaky. Waders and shorebirds gather here on the soft banks among the seaweeds, feeding on insects, worms, mollusks, crayfish, parts of plants, and tiny fish. Large waders like the bar-tail goodwit have long legs and specially adapted bills, where the final section of the upper part of the bill can be flexed upwards independently of the rest of the bill. Using this flexible bill, they can open the tip of their bill wide enough to see spray even while buried deep in the mud or wet sand. These birds have all high set eyes, perfect for spotting predators. Their eyesight doesn't help much with feeding, other than looking at the neighbor to check if he can find a better spot than themselves. And with each species having different length of beaks, they can find food in different depth of the seaweed. When you come here, bring along a hat and bring along lots of batteries, wind protective uh, clothes, and also maybe bring along a raincoat because it might rain. And what more can you bring? A ring, a smile, and just have fun because this is fun for me. Merlin is by most considered Norway's best birding location, especially during the autumn migration. During this time, nearly 100,000 birds have been registered here, with a variety of some 100 species. Some of the species we saw today was white ragtail, sparrowhawk, Starlings, common wood pigeon, bar tailed goodwit, common ringed plower, Eurasian oyster catcher, wood sandpiper, and dunlin. He have taken hundreds of photos today, and he is certainly happy that this was a successful bird trip for both of us. So if you want to come here to Merlin, then remember to put on something uh, warm. It is very, very windy, but it's certainly worth the trip. It's a super place. And today we've been so lucky with the weather. Sometimes it's rainy and then rainy, gusty, windy, hopelessly cold. So today we were very, very lucky. And I can uh, um, recommend this place to everyone. Not able to go back to Philippines yet. I still hope that maybe next year it looks better than today and I hope all of you are safe. Me, my father, we will continue birding somewhat. My son and my mother, they are sitting up here and chit-chatting and having a great time and taking a sun bath. So from all of us here at Merlin, Bye-bye, and I hope to see you soon. In a few more weeks, I will be back. Until then, take care, and all the best. Bye-bye.